I have two sons uh, who are in recovery, uh, sons that I love very, very much and I'm very proud of. My youngest son uh, went into treatment when he was about 16 and a half, my oldest when he was about 19, and uh, today they're uh, one's 25 and one's 30. So it was, uh, it was a long journey. Um, when we were in the thick of it, uh, I can only describe it uh, as our family going through our own private 9-11. That's probably you know, the best way to sum it up. And I, I understood um, you know, early on that I didn't cause this, I can't control it, I can't you know, cure it. That, you know, that made um, some sense to me. But on um, that fourth C is what resonated most for me. And, and that's that I can contribute. So I think that um, you know, by staying involved, by being engaged, by being aware, um, to, to have those lines of communication open, to keep trying to um, gather information and learn more about what our family's options were, um, you know, that would help uh, keep us moving forward. You know, no matter how rocky the road was, no matter how wild the roller coaster ride was, you know, that there was an opportunity to, um, to, to um, pause, to hit the pause button, which I think is what Kraft does a lot um, today, is that it gives people to hit that big pause button and think about what all their options are so they can bring a little bit of clarity to all the craziness and chaos that they're in. My wife and I both, we, um, we may have hated the drugs, but we never stopped loving our kids. You know, craft has just been um, a real motivator, you know, for me. In some cases, I literally have seen parents in tears, literally, crying for craft. They just, they just don't know that's what it is that they're asking for. Just a few days ago, I, I um, read the book Beyond Addiction, and uh, you know, at page 34, I, <laughs> I, I started to think about some of the books I'd been reading for. 5, 10, you know, 12 years. And I said, you know, I should probably um, toss those out. You know, I think by page uh, 78 or 79, I actually did. I, I thought about giving them to some other parents, but I said, nope, this is, um, it's just so different. It's so new, it's science-based, but it's, um, it's more important to me, it aligns with who you are as a parent. What I would wish for in a perfect world is that if we could um, someday um, have a little bit of craft sprinkled across these um, support groups, because I view craft as very complementary. I don't view it as some sort of you know competitive threat, if you will, in any way. The more parents open. Um, you know, their minds to um, what new things are out there, especially if it's something that's science-based and it's aligned with, um, you know, how they were when their kids were little, raising them, taking good care of them, that a lot of this will make sense. And a lot of this will, um, will start to be second nature over time. So I, th I do think in the end, you know, you can absolutely help the situation. You can help yourselves. You can help your family, um, you know, heal and um, bring back a lot of fun you know, into your life for everybody.